Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth World Talk Tarot. This is your weekly reading for week commencing 12th of November 2018 for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon and Rising Sign. I hope you're well Capricorn. So here are the cards. We have the Seven of Swords, the Hanging Man, the Queen of Swords, the King of Wands, the Six of Wands and the Empress. And I've also pulled two Archangel Oracle cards for further clarification. So let's start with this Seven of Swords and the Hanging Man. So the Seven of Swords um, can be about deception. Someone having deceived you from the truth. The Swords represent truth and clarity. And this card is very much about deception. Maybe it's about self-deception as well, of not wanting to see the truth of the situation in um, Capricorn. Um, but as I say, I mean, this can be about also um, someone having deceived you or a group of people deceived you. Maybe somebody who you put trust on has let you down. Um, maybe um, it can be about, uh, yeah, having been, been let down in in love and being deceived in love or it can be about um deceit um you know on the work front maybe someone has promised you certain things um and has advanced their own career at your expense um so yeah i mean as a situation whatever situation this is um know that it's something that you can deal with um it might have already happened capricorn and it's something that you are taking time out to consider. The hanging man um, can be about sacrifice. It can be about, yeah, it can be about sacrifice. Maybe you've had to sacrifice something to move on from this type of situation. Maybe this situation caused you to sacrifice something, um, whether it's on the personal front, wider relationships or um, work situation, uh, maybe jobs or whatever. Um, but know that you have the um, ability just to take time out and see things from a different perspective so that you know how to deal with the situation at hand. Um, so, yeah, I mean, as I say, the this card is also about just waiting for clarity to come to you, maybe having had a period of, of, of non-clarity. This is a kind of like waiting for enlightenment to come to you of understanding the way forward. And this card is very positive in the fact that it will come towards you, you will see the, the truth of the situation, you will be able to move forward. But having given it some thought and really weighing up all, all sides of the situation and then moving forward with purpose. So not acting rashly as maybe some people have done to you. Um, yeah, maybe some, you know, You've you've probably been on the the end of, of some kind of like deceiving um yeah some deceiving energy, but yeah this is also about you know taking time out to really find next steps to see your path clearly, and seeing things from a different perspective. So analysing all aspects that that's advantageous to you. Now. This is interesting because you have the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Swords is about truth and clarity, absolutely. She points her wand to the heaven, um, which kind of mimics justice in a way. Um, so there is a kind of justice to this card. And whatever the situation is, know that you're being protected. There's a real kind of like karmic protection here. And I say karmic because if you've been honest and truthful in this situation and have been deceived and um, probably unexpectedly then the truth is on your side then justice is on your side and there's real kind of like protection around you because of that Capricorn um, it also talks about cutting away all baggage so moving on from this situation and saying now's the time having given it some thought and weighed up the right route for you to move forward, to see things from a different perspective, to understand the situation in its fullness. Um, now you need to move on. Now you need to move on and focus on you. 
And the sword is about cutting away all baggage, all baggage that doesn't serve you, negative energies, people that you can't trust anymore. Um, and yeah, so this is about acting rightly. It is a card of success. It is a queen. Um, but it's doing things properly. Um, and yeah, moving on. But know that you're protected this month. So yeah, I think that's a real positive energy around you, certainly for this. Where you might feel a little bit vulnerable. Um, there's a real protective energy going around you. It might well be somebody is protecting you, somebody supporting you through this difficult time, somebody who is no nonsense, who is fair and sees the truth of the situation and, you know, um, does not have time for time wasters. Because that is the Queen of Swords energy. She's very fair, she's very stern, she is incredibly razor sharp in terms of the mental clarity and you know it is a case of applying reason and logic to get you through this situation but I do feel that might be some of you some of you are being helped by it can be um friend family family member um to get past this situation and the king of wands energy is here as well so this is another card of, of success and achievement but this is about taking action, Capricorn. This is about now is the time to take action. You're worth more than this, so don't focus your energy on this. The King of Wands is that type of character who would not give to... He would literally just move on from this situation. He wouldn't stay in this situation for very long. Um, he would probably strategically think of the situation as it is, which is exactly what the Hangman is thinking about, um, and then move on and... Yeah, as I say, I mean, the King of Wands is a very action-orientated energy. It's a card of achievement. It's a card of looking at your goals and going for them. So this is about coming back to you now, Sagittarius. This is about focusing on what you want in life. This is about um, shaping the world to suit you and only having those people in your world that are positive. And it bodes well. This bodes well. This is a really card, a real good card of success and achievement. So yeah, maybe after a period of struggle, this is about taking action and moving forwards. Having had a bit of maybe indecision, you know, working out what to do next, you do and you start moving forwards. And yeah, this is a card of victory. So it's a hard one, victory. This person has come through obstacles, deceit, deception, negative people, negative situations, and has overcome them. This is a hard-won victory card. Um, yet the top of his wand is a laurel wreath. You can just see it very slightly there. Um, so, yeah, and this is recognition from other people. So I just think that you, Capricorn, you have been very fair. Um, the way you've dealt with this situation has been very fair, has been very just. Um, but nevertheless, you will move on from this situation and you will move on for the better. And that's exactly what this situation is talking about. This card is talking about, this is talking about um, opportunity around you and um, potential around you at the moment and grabbing hold of it and focusing on your needs now. What do you want from your career? What do you want in terms of finances? What do you want as family? You know, what do you want as friends? Um, and only taking that witch with, with you, which makes you stronger. And this horse represents um, strength and bravery and courage. Um, so really having the strength to push forward this obstacle, to cut out negative situations and to move on successfully. This is almost clinical in how it... You know, the Queen of Wands is very clinical in how she just cuts away people that just do not serve her anymore. And as I say... The King of Wands will focus on his needs and what will make him stronger, give him greater achievement, give him greater success, greater financial security, greater abundance. And that's exactly the advice to you, Capricorn. It is to, to seize hold of opportunities and run with them now. And if you do, this is a real card of success. This is a card of rebirth. Yeah, this is a card of rebirth. This is Mother Earth. She can represent pregnancy, 
but it can be pregnancy in all forms. So some of you may well have, you know, be pregnant and expected new beginnings, new phases of your life, which is beautiful. But this can also be about the pregnancy to new ideas, to new horizons, um, to new possibilities. This is opening your mind. This is a card of opening your mind to the potential of your capabilities now, of your achievements and how far you can go with it. Yeah. This is a real card of um, abundance. So, yeah, whatever you're putting in place this week, um, whatever actions that you're taking, there's real potential here, real possibilities. Um, but nurture yourself, Capricorn. You know, take time out to take care of you. Um, yes, if you're focusing on a career, focus on your career, but take care of yourself as well. This talks about having a good balance. Um, it is a Libra in energy after all. Um, so yeah, just make sure that you try and get that balance back in life. Balance back in your own mind, maybe after a period of imbalance. Um, yeah, and as I say, I mean, this is a real card of, of birth to new ideas, new possibilities, new horizons beckoning. Um, yeah, real, real success for the future. Um, real creativity, real inspiration around you. So, yeah, as I say, it bodes really well. So the first Archangel card is Breathe. Archangel Raphael, take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to relax old... And to, sorry, to, and to release old patterns. So breathe. Archangel Raphael, take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. And this is you taking that time out, releasing, moving on. This is Remember Who You Are, Archangel Michael. You are a powerful, loving and creative child of God. And that is whatever God means to you, universe, divine, angels, spirits. You are very loved. Remember who you are, Archangel Michael. You are a powerful, loving and creative child of God. You are very loved. So yeah. This is opening your mind to new possibilities now. Remembering who you are, this is the Queen of Swords as well, energy. You know, coming back to your focus, crystal clear clarity of mind, um, and coming back to you and focusing on your achievements again and cutting out that which doesn't serve you. So it's a really positive reading, Capricorn. I hope it resonates with some of you. If, you did, if it did, please do like, share and subscribe. Um, just to know the monthly readings are also out now for December. So if you haven't checked those out, do check those out too. And I hope it's a great week and I'll see you next time. Thank you.